Hello everyone, my name is Michael at MichaelTutorials.com and in this new tutorial series I'm going to teach you how to create a character creation and character selection um, menu that works with MySQL and PHP um, in Unity 3D. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and import my package from my login system tutorial series. Um, you can either follow that tutorial series or there will be a link in the description for where you can purchase the final scripts and what I'm importing right now. Um, so I'm, I have two scenes created in here called character creation and character selection. I have no scripts for it. I'm going to go ahead and delete this debug too. Don't need that. Um, and under scripts, I'm going to go ahead and go to character creation and character selection. S underscore character selection. And I'm going to do C underscore. All right, perfect. So let's start with character creation. Go ahead and create a new script. Character creation. And in here, we're going to go open up Mono Develop. Now, we don't really need any static variables in here. Now, we're going to want. A public string called name equals nothing. Um, actually, we don't need that in here. What am I thinking? Public string class equals nothing. Public string current menu equals character creation. Um, Now I'm going to get rid of the public string class and I'm going to create a public classes um, class to represent our class equals classes dot mage. I'm just going to set that to nothing for now. Class equal classes dot warrior like so. And that's essentially all there is to it for that. But now we need to do our on GUI. I'm going to leave update just in case we need it, which we likely will. Make sure that you spell on GUI with a capital O, lowercase n, and capital all capitals on GUI. You don't have to go as crazy with me as the commenting, but I like to make sure that it's all nice and neat, um, especially because I'll be selling this package after if you don't want to have to type it out. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Um, like so. And now that'll just be on the left, um, 500 width and 
the size of the screen's height. Um, so that's a, let's go ahead and give that a test run. If we come in here, there is no errors. We'll put that on here. And there you go. Um, I'm actually going to lower. Mm, no, that's fine. All right, so yeah, perfect. Everything's working so far. Let's go ahead and add some buttons. We want... I'll create another box. Box. Just so that we have, like, a line coming down. Uh, this is XY. This will be 250. Try, let me just see that really quickly. Yep, that's just about exactly what I want. Um, it needs to be not screen dot height. Eh, no, it does need to be screen dot height. It just needs to be moved down a little. Let me move it down by 20 and see how that works. That's better. All right, now we have a divider. Um, so now we can do. Oops. this to say, um, what do I want it to say? I just totally forgot. We want factions and zero comma. Oh, I'm sorry, we want 300 comma zero comma, oh, 20 comma, 100 and a 50 screen and 50. We'll do it like that. See how that looks. That looks right about right, except the width needs to be a bit bigger, 75, like so. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Now we'll make one here, and we'll make this 25 on the width. And now we'll call this classes. Just like so. And that should be good to go. Um, Alright, yeah. I was just imagining how I was going to do this. I'll create um, public texture 2D. Actually, I'll show you guys how to use a skin. So public GUI skin skin equals Oop, no equals. We just want that public so we can use it on GUI. Like so. Now let's go into Unity. We'll create a folder called GUI. We'll go into it. We'll create a folder called Skin. We'll create a new GUI skin called Character Creation. And then under Custom Styles, we'll create one, two, three, four, five. We'll want five. We'll want Warrior. Mage. Priest. Um, Faction 1, Faction 2, and then that should be good, except we don't have any textures. We'll have to create some textures after, um, but for now let's just go ahead and finish coding it up and then I'll pause this video, I'll stop this video, and in the next one we'll just create some simple textures, and then in the next one we'll finish up the GUI for this and start doing the PHP and the MySQL, finish that up, and then we'll start on character selection, which is much simpler 
um, and then we'll be done. All right, let's get to it. So, GUI dot. GUI dot button new rect comma and then GUI style we want warrior. I'm going to copy this three times and I'm going to replace warrior with mage and priest. Now we can fix the rects. Um, so 25, 25, 25, comma, yeah, 400, comma, 200, comma, 50. We'll try that and then. Hold on, let me pause this. All right, I am back, and I completely forget where we were. We were just making the buttons. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do 200, 200, and I remember where we were. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give that a try. But you know what? I don't think we'll be able to see anything. Yeah. It's going to be empty. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to just remove our styles for now. Just so that we can test until we get some art. And 200 for the height is a bit too big. I'm going to make it 150 on all of them. And I'm going to do the same for the width. Now it's perfect. Um, and now if I was to duplicate all of these and remove this one, and if I was to go faction one, faction two, Perfect. Now if we were to move these over to 325, I believe on the exposition. Yep, perfect. You'll see that we now have all our buttons. Um, and I'll just create a player name field. Oops. Now under height, we want 250. 
Okay, now we have our player name variable. Let's go ahead and do player name dot g. Oops, I'm sorry. Player name equals gui dot text field new rect comma like so. So we want three twenty five. Um, 275, 100, 75, 75, 75, 125, and we'll try that out, see how that works. So it doesn't seem to be quite down enough. Let's switch 200 to 300 on these and try that. That looks better to me. Now I'm going to create, I'm going to change the height on this to about 25. Like so. Now we can type in our name. For some reason, this is not working. Let me move this down to uh, 400. See how that works. All right, so apparently it was conflicting with the button, it seems. I'm gonna go ahead and move the label down to 400 as well, and then we should be good to go. All right. My name, Mike. So even though you can't see them right now because we don't have our images in the style, um, we have our faction, two faction buttons, three classes to select from. We can type in our name and now we need the create button. So let's go ahead and create that. I'm actually going to go ahead and do if. I'm going to do if for all of these really quickly so that we can adjust this after. All right, perfect. So now if we click on those buttons, it'll do whatever's in the if block. Um, so I'm going to do class. like so. Perfect. Now we'll do
Okay. Now, for this, this is so that we can um, put in the name of our class in our MySQL database because um, it has to be a string. So now we have it so that we'll have a string that represents our class that is also updated with our buttons updating our actual class variable. Okay, now let's create our create button. If GUI dot button new rect comma comma create. Yeah, we don't need that. Try that out. Okay, so we have to make this equals twice, like so. Now, if GUI dot button, let me just perfect. Now we'll create our coroutine just really quickly. I enumerator And there we go. That is uh, that's the GUI done. And in the next video, we'll make some textures for the GUI. And then in the next video, we'll do the PHP and MySQL. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, subscribe, comment.